Over the course of this academic year, I've been working with the fantastic teaching staff at Marlborough Boys School in central London. And part of the work that we've been doing over the years is unpicking some of the ideas in my research, Mark Plan Teach. And in this video, you're going to see the teacher discuss what they did next as a result of the teacher training sessions. So we're unpicking here how they've translated the idea and adapted it to suit their own classroom context and their own subject specialism. And this is what great teaching requires all teachers to do, to translate lots of ideas and apply it to suit their own wisdom. Take a look and see what they have to say. Hi, all. Does, is that audio coming through? Yeah, we can hear you. Great. Okay, great. Sorry, our camera is on, but um, I'm blaming Dub's laptop here for a thing. But um, so, yeah, my name's Lockie. Um, one thing I took from the, um, the in-person session we had with Ross was the um, feedback script from the teacher toolkit. I'm holding it here really engagingly in front of my camera. Um, so, no, that's off. Ooh, so um, basically the script was the people. You got it? No, it's not that. Oh, it is. Oh, it's different. Thank you. We go. We can see you now. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, this um, I'm very tech savvy um, in Australia. Um, so this is the um, people um, script. So praise, probe, identify, plan, and lock. And um, I gave it a crack. I kind of sat it under the telephone for a few tricky parent phone calls. Um, the first few times I'd plan it out using this and have a think beforehand. Um, I noticed that basically myself and most teachers kind of do a lot of this already. One of the main changes I think to my practice from this has been the praise and um, just remembering to use that. So um, yeah, just in a couple of really challenging phone calls, I've noticed the positive impact of starting with a bit of praise, um, commending that student's effort in class, their um, improvement in work practices, whatever it might be, um, and then getting into the, okay, but your son has been declassed, whatever the reason for the phone call might be. But um, yeah, so as I've become more familiar with it, I found, I don't look at this script anymore, but that praise and also the, at the end, locking in um, tangible actions that you can do are really now embedded into my practice. So I don't necessarily think about the people structure anymore, but certainly those two aspects of it are things that I now automatically do. Fantastic. And does it, and can you do it in five minutes? Have you mastered that part yet? Easy money, Ross. Right. Good. That is great. Great news. And have you tried it in other situations? So with kids or with colleagues? Yeah. So, um, so when we have, um, as we're all familiar with here, declassings, when a student's sent out of the classroom for being disruptive or whatever. Um, so we'll have restorative conversations afterwards. So I've also found it really handy for those restorative conversations as well as then the parent facing side of that, which is the phone call home. Okay. Well, that's great news. I'm going to sleep very well tonight. So thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Ross. Right. Excellent news. That's really good. Um, so who are we going to next?